Hello everybody, Swami Nath here. Today we are going to see how to pack the material and place it in the storage location. The raw material, once if it is getting into the plant, we have to pack it, so that raw material needs to be packed and placed it in the storage location. That is what we are going to see it in today's video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create packaging material in MM01. I'm going to do create a raw material in MM01. And then I'm going to do purchase order. I'm going to do inbound delivery. In this inbound delivery, I'm going to pack the material. Material packaging will be done in the inbound delivery. Finally, I'm going to do invoice, vendor invoice, invoice verification. In the inbound delivery itself, I'm going to do goods reserved. And I'm going to check the inventory in MMB. We are going to do it in the live system. Let's go to the system and let's do it. MM0, I'm going to create a raw material first. Press enter. Raw material. Let me unselect all these views. Sales views. Go to organizational levels. GMR1, GMR1. Press enter. Okay. Raw material. Raw material. Base unit of measure, kgs. Certain chemicals needs to be packed. No MRP, NT, no MRP. Press enter. Valuation class is 3000 for raw material. Six zero seven zero five is my raw material. Now I'm going to create a packaging material. Packaging material. Mechanical engineering packaging material. Press enter. Continue. Organizational levels. My plant is GMR1. Storage location GMR1. Sales organization GMR1. And distribution channel GP. Press enter. Okay. Carton box. Carton box. Packaging. Material. Basic unit of measure each. Press enter. Liable for tax. Enter. Available digit. Packaging material, packing material Z triple two. Packaging material Z triple two. If you want to know how to create all this, I have a link has been provided in the link in the description. Just check the link. You will know how to create this material packing group and packaging material. I'll just provide the link in the description. Just check it. Okay. Press enter. 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 No MRP. ND. No MRP. Enter. 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 Seven. My packing material is packing material one double eight two. Now let's do slash in. I'm going to create a purchase order. ME twenty one N. Purchase order. Supplier. Enter the supplier. This is my supplier. If you want to know how to create the supplier, a link has been provided in the description. Check the link. Purchasing group GMR1. Purchasing group and purchase organization GMR1. Material. This is my material. 60705. Now, plant GMR1. Net price. Storage location. GMR1, quantity, 10 quantities. Now go to this confirmation. Go to this confirmation. Select confirmation. And save it. Save it. Save. My PO number is, purchase order number is, four five triple zero double zero double zero three six four five okay now let me do inbound delivery ivd inbound delivery and packing in the inbound delivery packing pl31 n transaction 
Let's go to and slash n VL31. Slash n VL31 n. This is my supplier and this is my purchase order. Press enter. Okay. Now go to pack. Get on to this packing. Let me enter the packing material, packaging material. This is my packaging material. One double eight two. One double eight two. Press enter. One double eight two. One double eight two. It's my packing material. Okay, this is my HU. HU is handling units. Material with packed material is HU. HU. Now, come back. Seven. Now go to slash and VL32. Slash and VL32N. Let me do goods receipt here. GR. GR. Now GR has been completed. This is my material document. This is my material document. Let's go to MMB and check. Slash and MMB. Let me check it. Let me check the material. This is my material. Execute. See, 10 material has just come in. With a pack, with a packaged material. Now come back, go to VL 33N display, inbound delivery display, document flow. Let's check the document flow for the inbound delivery document flow. See in handling units. This is my handling units. When you go to the display document, you will be able to see the material which has been packed. See here, this material, packaging material. Okay. History, let's go to history. See here, inbound delivery. This is my inbound delivery. Now let me come back. See, packaging material. This is the material being packed, used for packaging material. Come back. Okay. When you go, uh, go to this display document, you will know. See, this material has been packed. This is the material packed. Okay, back, come back. Now let's check the material document, display document. To so check the GR document. See, this is the material document. Now finally, let's go and do invoice verification. Slash and MIR, MIRO. MIRO. Select purchase order number. This is my purchase order number. Purchase order number. Press enter. Item OK. Calculate tax. Baseline date. Go to basic data. Thirteen thousand two hundred. Thirteen two hundred. And seven. Now let me go to display purchase order number. Purchase order. Slash and ME 23N. It's my purchase order. Display purchase order. Display purchase order. See here. This is my purchase order number. This is my purchase order number. And this is my inbound delivery, which has been packed. The material has been packed in this inbound delivery. And finally, we did vendor invoice. Vendor has given the invoice and we just posted it in. SAP system. Vendor has sent the raw material. We just packed the raw material and put it in the storage location. And vendor has given the invoice. We just send it for the payment. This is how packaging of raw material will be happening in the real time. Thank you.